Welcome back to What's Cooking CGH. I'm Sherry with the CGH Health Foundation. I'm a certified health and nutrition coach and all of our recipes are very easy and very healthy for you. And so I thought I would do a side dish today that will go pretty good with almost any meal that you're cooking. And that is roasted carrots. Um, I am a big fan of roasted vegetables. And in fact, there are some vegetables I didn't even like until I tried them roasted. Uh, Brussels sprouts comes to mind. But uh, roasting brings out the natural sweetness of the vegetables, caramelizes them a little bit. And uh, I just think it's a great way to do it. And especially in the, in the cool weather still, um, even though it's spring, still uh, plenty cool enough to start the oven out. Did you know that carrots um, have not always been just orange? Uh, carrots come in different colors and originally they were just white. Um, and then they bred them um, to be orange, uh, was the color that was developed specifically, I think, for a Dutch king in the, many years ago. But carrot, carrots come in orange, but they come in white, they come in purple, they come in red, they come in yellow. And this dish would be really pretty if I could have found some of those co uh, colors, but I'm just working with the plain orange carrots today. I'm going to get started with the glaze that goes on the carrots uh, when they go in the oven. And um, anytime I'm doing something like that, I always uh, put everything in the bottom of my bowl and whisk it together. It saves on dishes. And the first ingredient that's going to go in here is a teaspoon of garlic powder. Okay. Next ingredient is a tablespoon of olive oil to help them get a nice color on them when they roast. And then some, one flavor that goes really good with carrots is orange. And so I've got two tablespoons of orange juice here. I just happen to have an orange in the refrigerator, so I just cut it up and I squeezed it to get the, the orange juice. The last thing I'm gonna put in is a little bit of honey. It's just a tablespoon of honey. Not a whole lot. Carrots are naturally sweet, but this just uh, bumps up that sweetness level a little bit. Okay, all of that in the bowl. Now carrots are a humble vegetable, but they have a really good reputation. Um, and there's kind of a story about how they are supposed to be good for your eyesight. And the reason for that is that carrots are an excellent source of vitamin A. And uh, vitamin A helps with eyesight because if you have a vitamin A deficiency, um, your eye doesn't produce the pigments that help you see various colors. And one of the uh, side effects or uh, what happens there is that you uh, don't have good night vision. You can be um, night, night blind. Uh, so that's one of the things that vitamin A does for us. Another thing that it does is to um, maintain the health of the cornea. It's good for our cornea. And it also helps your eye develop moisture so that you don't have dry eyes. Um, so it's not that eating a lot of carrots is going to improve your vision, um, but a vitamin A deficiency will definitely have uh, cause issues for your vision. So that's the story behind the, the carrots and the eyesight. Carrots are not just a good source of vitamin A, they're a great source of vitamin C, vitamin K, and potassium. They have no cholesterol, they have no fat, like most vegetables, and uh, so they're a great choice. Uh, the next thing I'm going to add, I'm just going to add some salt, um, just about half a teaspoon, not a whole lot. And I'm going to grind in a little bit of fresh pepper. This is my favorite thing ever, my little battery operated pepper grinder. And probably put in less than an eighth of a teaspoon there. Okay, let's move on to the carrots. And what I have here is a pound of carrots. Uh, yeah, you could use baby carrots if you wanted to, but you do realize that baby carrots are not really baby carrots, right? Um, they are big carrots that were broken and they uh, processed them a little bit to remove the peel and make them into little chunks. I prefer for you to use real carrots, the whole carrot. I leave the peel on. I never take the peel off of my carrots or rarely. And I cut them in this pretty little bias uh, kind of shape like this um, just makes it kind of pretty 
If you were going to have a dinner party and you could find uh, small carrots, the real thin kind of carrots, maybe even with the green still on, that would be pretty uh, to just leave your carrots whole. It'd take just a little a bit longer to cook maybe. Um, but when you slice up the carrots yourself and when you're roasting vegetables, you want every bean thing to be about the same size. And so um, I like to start off with the big carrots and I can cut it to the right shape rather than um, using the, the baby carrots and just dump them in. So all I'm doing then is tossing my carrot pieces in that glaze that I created. And off here to the side, I have a baking sheet with some parchment paper on it. I've got my oven preheating to about 425 degrees. When roasting vegetables, you want to do it at kind of a high heat. And I'm just going to dump the carrots onto the baking sheet. Okay. And you want to spread them out. Uh, you don't want them to be touching each other too closely. When things roast, you want them to be well spread out so they don't just like steam together and you get some nice little charred edges on them. All right. So these carrots are going to go in the oven, the 425 degree oven takes about uh, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how well you like your carrots done. Mine, uh, for this size that I cut them into, about 12 minutes was perfect. After five or six minutes, I went in and stirred them around a little bit with the spatula. Um, and you want to do that and check on them about halfway through to make sure that they're not burning or anything like that. Okay, so these carrots are going in the oven. And I happen to have some that I finished earlier. And so there are my roasted carrots with the orange and uh, garlic and olive oil glaze. Let's give one a taste. Mm. It is so good. If you haven't tried roasting carrots or other vegetables, um, Really do give it a try. You might make some some vegetable fans in your in your house. This recipe is uh, one of the recipes in our series, and you can find all of the What's Cooking CGH uh, videos at uh, the CGH website www.cghmc.com. Look for our YouTube channel. That's where they all are. And uh, I hope you'll give these a try, and we'll see you again next time.